You use electricity in everyday life, but do you know how they really work? Yeah, everybody knows that. I'm not talking to you. Anyway, this is how an electric circuit works in plain English. Brought to you by Austin Chan. Hi. Step 1. Know what an electric circuit is. For all electric appliances to work, such as your TV, laptop, or even something as simple as a light bulb, you will need an electric current to work. Electric currents are the continuous flow of electric charges in a material. They are generated in a material where there is a potential difference, or voltage, such as this electric circuit. An electric circuit's voltage source, such as this battery, always has two terminals, the positive and the negative. The voltage between the terminals causes the charges to move around the circuit, giving the electricity your TV, laptop, light bulb, radio, washing machine, clock, etc, etc, etc needs. Wow, you said it so fast! Step 2. Know the parts of an electric circuit. An electric circuit usually has three parts. 1. An energy source, such as this battery. 2. A device run by electricity, such as this light bulb. And 3. Conductors that connect the electrical circuit together, such as these wires. Sometimes, a switch is also included to control the current in the circuit and to turn the device on or off. Here is a basic electric circuit. As you can see, charges are moving from one side of the battery to the other. Along the way, the light bulb lights up because the electrical energy that passes through it is turned into light. I don't get it. Didn't you say that everybody knew that? Uh, I did. Okay, fine. Here's another way to explain it. Think of the electrical current as water flowing down a stream. The water wants to move downstream, but a water wheel is blocking the way. The water is forced to turn the wheel, much like the electrical energy is to force the light of the light bulb back in the circuit. Step 3. Know the different types of electrical circuits. There are two main types of electrical circuits. Here is a series circuit. In a series circuit, all the parts of the electrical circuit are connected in one path. The good thing about series circuits are that they are simple, but there are many disadvantages too. For example, if one light bulb goes out, the rest will too because the series is cut off. Another disadvantage is that resistance increases while you add more and more light bulbs. This means that the current will be slower and slower, and eventually the light bulbs wouldn't work. On the other hand, there are also parallel circuits, which are circuits with several paths. This means that if one light bulb burns out, the circuit is still connected and the rest would still work. Another good thing is that there is less resistance, because adding more paths adds to the amount of charges that can go at the same time. Wow, electrical circuits are so cool! I'm gonna build my own electrical circuit. Well, you better be careful if you play with high voltage electricity. Or else you might- <laughs> Ah! <laughs> hey, it's not funny! Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. This has been How an Electric Circuit Works in Plain English. Brought to you by Austin Chan. Hey, don't cover me like that with Bye. a piece of paper!